Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to another uh, Disney princess tutorial. This one is for Rapunzel from the movie Tangled. Uh, first off, you guys are going to notice that I don't have my background thingy up. I just want to try something different, see if it would, you know, have any effect on color and all that kind of stuff. And I do apologize because I did not clean up my room, so there's a mess behind me. But hopefully it's blurred out and you guys can't really see what's going on. So if you've seen the movie, I took inspiration from the, uh, the little flag that she got when she went to the kingdom that had the rich purple background and a golden sun on it so this is like a literal translation of the flag. I really really love Tangled. If you guys haven't seen it definitely you should watch it as soon as you can. It's on Netflix Instant Q so if you have Netflix you can watch it instantly streaming online. Uh, and one more thing before we go ahead and get on with the tutorial. The little spiky thing here I borrowed from Goldie Starling. I think she kind of did it better than me but I was trying to create the effect of a sun rather than just like cool spiky things. Uh, anyway, so I borrowed that from her video from Naughty or Nice from last holiday season. So I'll have a link to her video in the down bar thingy. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And if you want to learn how to do this, then let's get started. So we're going to start this up by using Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over the lid. I also like to take my primer into my brows a little bit because it will help my brow colors to stick a little bit better when I get around to putting them on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pencil just to carve out where I'm going to be placing my cut crease I guess you could say. So I'm just going to look down and kind of see where the ball of my eye ends. Kind of, yeah, it's like right there. Yeah, there we go. Just take a pencil draw it out. Take a small brush and just sort of blend that out so it's not a stark line. Now we're going to take Sugar Pills uh, Royal Sugar Pigment. This is just a crumbleest. It's a true blue with glitter. On that little teeny tiny brush we're going to draw that right into crease. Then we're just sort of blending it up a little bit. So you're basically just trying to create a nice rounded shape. Maybe a little heavier handed out here in the outer corner. Now I'm going to use this hot, like magenta pink color. It's actually called Magentric, also from Sugar Pill. And we're going to use a fluffy brush to apply this. Pick a little bit up, tap off the extra, and we're going. What we're going to do is we're going to blend it uh, into the blue, but we're going to place it slightly above the blue. So where the blue is fading out, place it there, and so they'll start to blend together and create a purple. But then we're going to go over it with the purple. It's just like layering them to get a different kind of effect. You know, you just gotta experiment and see what works for you or what works for any kind of situation. And it's always good to know, you know, several different ways to come to the, to the same, you know, end result. So now we're going to place the purple, which is a uh, poison plum, also from Sugar Pill. And we're going to place that right in between the purple and the pink, or the blue and the pink. Now the other colors had a lot of shimmer in them, this one is a matte, so it just gives us a slight textural difference, although the overall effect is still pretty shimmery. Bit more blue, bit more pink, and a little bit more purple. We're really just rocking that in our socket. We're not creating any crazy shape or anything, just a rounded shape again with just a little bit heavier on the outer edge. Alright, we're going to start working on the lower lid. So we're going to take a shadow pencil. This is one of the Urban Decay, uh, whatever they call them, shadow pencils in Sin. 24 Glide On Shadow Pencil in Sin. I just, I bought a little set from these from Hot Look. Or Hot, is it Hot Look or Hot Look? I don't know. Whatever. They arrived today, so... I was like super excited and I was like I'm going to use them in this look. And the next color that we're going to use is called Melon by MAC because it's a pigment. So we're just using that wet all over the lid. And we're kind of creating the base of the sun with this. So 
So see this little rounded shape is like the basis of the sun. And then I just want to add a little bit of texture and interest to the sun, so I'm going to add some orange. This is Sugar Pills Flame Point. And I'm just going to add that right there and right there. And then I'm going to flip the brush over and blend with the opposite side of the brush that I placed the pigment or the color with. I'm using a bit of melon pigment dry over the orange just so that it really melds together really well and doesn't look like two different colors. It just looks like it's shimmering more in some areas than others. Melon already has kind of like a pinky orange base to it, so it really works well. So before we move on to the sun rays and eyeliner and all that other good stuff where we kind of can't go back and like reblend the purple and stuff, I want to do the highlight. This is Vapor from MAC. It's a peachy like flesh color with a slight blue reflected. It's really, really pretty. Just, just place that, you know, under the brow as you do. And just be really careful not to over blend because you don't want to blend the pinky color away. You can do the rays of the sun first, or you can do your eyeliner first. I have my eyeliner in my hand, so I guess intuition is telling me I should do my eyeliner first. So, I'm going to start from the outer corner here to create the, the line. Drag it in. And then drag it in again to create like a little, almost like a two sided, two sides of a triangle. And then finish it up by lining out my lash line. Uh, this is the Milani, what's it called? Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. It's a new one. It has a felt tip, which I don't normally dig, but it's very, very thin felt tip. So I've been liking this lately. To make the sun rays, we're going to need to make essentially an eyeshadow paint. So I'm going to take my little brush, and I'm going to scoop some of Melon Pigment. Get some of that in the cap. Get some mixing medium, and it really doesn't matter which one you use. You can use, uh, you know, a formal uh, mixing medium, like Max Water Base Mixing Medium. You could use Inglot's Duraline. You could use Lit Cosmetics Glitter Base. You could use water. You could use Visine. The list goes on and on. It really doesn't matter, uh, as long as it works for you and you're happy with it. So I just basically mix that into, like, a little liquid eyeshadow paint. The brush that I'm using to make my little rays is the MAC 110. It's the thinnest eyeliner brush that I have, which I recommend because that way you can get more rays out of it or, you know, just be a little more precise with your placement. All right, so I'm going to look down into my mirror as I do this. And at first, I'm just going to draw some little lines as, like, little guide marks. paint pick it up and then just slowly start working each one up Angie I hope I'm doing you justice to make mine a little less thin. And then once I'm done drawing the rays, I'm just going to take my brush along the edge so that way you don't see the lines coming into the shadow so much. And you see it's kind of like a gradient, like it's more gold at the top and a little more orange here at the bottom. Pretty cool, right? Alright, so now I'm going to apply my eyelashes. These are, I think they're called Angel Baby from Sugar Pill, and I've cut the first spike and then the little tiny baby hair ones uh, down from it because it really I can't talk. It was basically just like a little too long for me, so I cut it down. Doesn't that look awesome? With the rays and then the spikes. I dig it. I'm going to take a white pencil and just gently draw it on my waterline. I'm going to take a purple eyeliner. This is Milani's Liquify Pencil Twist Up Automatic Propel Pencil in purple. And I'm just going to draw right under the 
waterline on the lash line. Sorry, you guys, it was too close, you couldn't see. Till about there. And then I'm going to switch to Urban Decay's Ransom Liner and just do the inner corner. Ta I'm going to take this little smudgy brush from Sonia Kashuk and pick up some of Poison Plum and apply that over the Milani Liner. And then, on the inner corner, I'm going to take a Beauty from the Earth Lilac color. It's very similar to MAC's Beautiful Iris. It's called Starstruck, and I'm going to take that right there on the inner corner and just blend it into where we had Poison Plum. Sorry, I have to get a little closer to my mirror because I can't see what I'm doing this far away, so imagine that I put on my mascara in front of you, okay? <laughs> So for blush today, I'm going to use a combination of two different blushes. The first one is Tickled Pink, and this is from e.l.f. On like an angled blush brush. Apply that like from the back of the apple back towards the hairline. Because basically this one can only built, be built up to a certain point, and I wanted just a little bit more of a pink pop. I'm taking Pink Blossom as well, also from e.l.f. Same placement. And then for lip gloss today, I'm going to use this Milani lip gloss called Raspberry Icing. It's one of their crystal gloss for lips. It's a non-sticky gloss, so I'm a, I'm a big fan. It smells kind of like cookies, too. I think they call it cotton candy, though. It's the official scent. God, I'm sorry. The way I'm playing this is really bad. I don't know what's wrong with you today. I think I'm just excited to take pictures of the eye makeup so I'm like hurry up and get the gloss on <laughs> that's it guys I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you didn't mind having my you know bedroom in the background it's not stylish it's actually not very tidy I have crap all over my bed right now but I just couldn't be bothered to pull the sheet I know that sounds like such a small thing but actually I also think the color is a little bit better I don't know we'll see once I actually get into editing it I'm like crap color's bad but anyway I have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in my next video remember to be vintage or tacky just be yourself see you bye